Greetings everyone, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be using Mini Tool Movie Maker 2. Now this is a free movie maker tool that anybody can download. There is a link below in the description that allows you to download. So when it greets you, it greets you to a tutorial video, but you also have the option to do not show this message again. But if you want to keep that, just keep the box uh, unclosed. So I've already done a video here but we're just going to show you a new project. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to import some footage. Now before we begin we're just going to guide you through the interface here. So this is the media folder interface as you can tell. And then this is a transition interface where it shows all your transitions here. And if you scroll down there's a quite an extensive amount of transitions. And then the effects transitions where it shows your effects, sort of like your filters for your videos. And we don't have time to go through all this here, but if you know what these are, then you have a general idea. And then we're gonna go to text, and then this shows your text options. And then when you highlight over it, it shows you a caption of what it's like, like a little mini preview. So if you wanna see what it looks like, then that's what it'll show you sort of like a little mini preview, which really helps. And then this is motion, where it shows motion effects. And then it gives you a test sequence of what each footage looks like. So that's panned down along the left, and then that's panned down along the right, and then vice versa, and so on and so on. And it has quite a bit here. So we're going to get started with making our first video. But you can also skip all this and do a template. So here are the templates that you have here. So there's challenge, our love story, photo album, photo book, lovely couple slideshow, Christmas party invitations, parental love, travel, and wedding slideshow. So for the sake of this video, let's just select challenge. And then we are going to import our videos. So I'm just going to import this one video and then it'll just load. And then what it'll do is it'll automate the scenarios here. So it automatically builds a movie for you, which is really nice if you're short on time and you want to build something right away. So let's just see what this looks like. So, okay, so we got a nice intro sequence and then it shows the title and then it shows the video and then please import pictures and videos. So it wants you to import other videos. We're just doing this as an example. So if you have more than one video here, you can use the templates that this provides you here. So it's really nice where it gives you the option to import videos and it cuts them up automatically and puts them in sequences and you can pan, zoom, it automatically does that. So it shows each of these in scenarios. So the first scenario is like your title sequence and then it goes up to seven, which is really neat. And then it shows you a close up here and then it shows, this, this is sort of like a blockbuster movie trailer style video. So it shows all your videos here and then after that it shows the title of the movie, Off Road, blah 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 blah, the end. And it would show the end credits and such and such. So that's like an automated movie right there. So it bypasses the editing. You don't have to do much here. So that's what you do. And then it gives you the option to export right away and you can replace music. So we're just gonna go back here. Uh, we're not going to save the changes. So if you want to do something that's quick and easy, use a movie template. And they have a lot of templates for you to start out with depending on your project. And then you can also look at them by category, by category. And then if you just want to go to the full feature mode, this is the full feature mode, the one that we're using right now. So we're going to go into media and we're going to import our files by pressing here. And then it's just a case of finding your file in your folder. So for this, we're just going to import a picture and then it loads right onto the media. So we're just going to put in our video and then we're going to drag down and put a picture in there. And then those are our sequences. So these are just some test videos that we're going to start out with. Now, if you have a video that looks like this, we're going to show you how to edit it. So you right click on it and then select edit. And then it gives you attributes here. So there's rotation, flip horizontal, flip vertical. And then it also gives you filters 
on what you can do. So you can give it like a Game of Thrones look or uh, Max Mad Max Fury Road look. You can also adjust the contrast here, the saturation, the brightness. So it allows you to adjust a lot of things here. And then I think you can also go full screen. That's what it says there. So, I mean, it does give the option to rotate, but it doesn't allow us to crop it, which is really, really weird because some people might have just a smartphone camera and they might have just filmed it like this. So normally that's what a lot of people would like to do. So like there's my video there in the top down mode, and then this is horizontal mode. So this is vertical, and then this is horizontal, as you can see. So a lot of people want to be able to crop it, and you can go full screen and preview it, but that normally doesn't help. So when you go full screen, you just press escape to get out of that. That's what I did there. Um, it allows you to adjust the look of the video, but unfortunately it doesn't allow you to modify it, which is a downer because that's what I was hoping that this would do. So you have to make sure that if you're doing videos, that they have to be in this format and that it can fill the screen and you're able to crop it. You can right click and delete from here and then you can also add other bits of footage. So we're just going to put this footage down and then you can edit your footage however you like here. So you click on it and then it allows you to split. So let's say there's a part you want to cut out. You click on the scissor and then it splits. And then here, we're just going to delete that. By, you can just highlight the video, and then we'll press delete. Or you can right click, and then it'll just delete right away. So yeah, that's just an example of what you're able to do with cutting and cropping. So we're just gonna add another video here. And then you can also stretch the timeline. You can also adjust the speed of the clip, and then you can make it slower. So we just made it 0.5 slower. So as you can see, that's the speed of the clip that we made it because originally, this is the original speed. As you can see, he moves really fast, whereas this one here, he moves really slow. And then you can slow it down even more. You can slow it down even more like this. So this is 0.1 super super slow as you can see that's 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 very slow that's going to take too much time so then you go 0.25 speed and there we go and then that's 0.25 speed of the clip and you can also delete clips by clicking on the garbage can. So we're just going to click on the garbage can and delete. And then if you don't want to do that, you just press undo. And there it is again. Or you can redo it so that it looks good. So we're just going to delete all this. And this is what we have left. And then importing samples or audio is as simple as drag and drop. So you drag and drop it all the way down here. So there it is. So there's your sample right there. So my voice would be playing right now, but I have the volume turned down. So this is what it would look like right now. So it plays our sampling there, and it can play any audio as well. And then you can also zoom to fit timeline, and then it makes it look bigger. So you can zoom out like this, or you can go all the way to 10. <clears throat> makes it a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier to split, a whole lot easier to trim and delete stuff. So that's one thing I like about this. You can zoom in the timeline, which is really neat. And then we're going to you can go and add transitions to that by pressing them and putting them in between here. And then we're going to go here. And then we're going to apply we're going to apply a few transitions as an example. So volumes down. So as you can see, the transitions play back and forth and it shows what you can do. So we're just going to we're just going to go here and cut some more. We're going to use a clock transition. So let's just see what that looks like. So yeah, it, you can use a lot of transitions here. And then we're going to apply some effects as well. So we're going to apply Clarendon as an effect. So we're just going to go here. And there's our effect.
And then you can go none to so apply none. So you can undo that effect. We're just going to go with old film as an example. So you have to make sure that you drag it all the way into the timeline. Then you can manage them by going here. I'm going to oh, add lightness. There we go. So those are, those are our effect right there. All right. So those are the effects that we have here. I'm going to apply a red green. There we go. And then you can also add text. So your text would go right around here. So the text title would be up on the top, and then you would just edit your title. So you would go here and double click, and then you would edit your text. And then you would type it. So you just go, and you can also move it and rotate it and resize it however you like. So go to the points here, and then you can resize each point. And then you can also rotate it however you like. And then you click inside to edit. Yes, I know I spelled it wrong. Sue me. So we're just going to select our font, and it'll adjust the font like this. And then you can also set the size here. And then you can also set the margins. And then also a certain space. You can space out the letters. And then you can also set the alignment. Align center, align right, align left. Set it to bold, and then I set to italic. And then you can just type it in here as well. So there you go. Then you just press OK, and then it applies your text like that. So the possibilities are endless with this one. It's a pretty simple and straightforward editor. And you can also add a lot of motions to it. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty decent software and it's free and allows you to start out. And then you can also watch the videos on this app to allow you to get more advanced features. So let's say you're done with your video and you just want to go to export. So you would go here and it would say PC format or device format. It can give you a series of formats here. So let's go, let's say, smartphone. And the smartphone is automatically set. And then you'd also set up your resolution. So best is like the bitrate high. You can also set your resolution here to 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So best is high, better is medium, good is pretty decent. So for this, we're just going to set it to device. And then we'll set to save to it automatically save into this folder mini tool movie maker and output so that's where it'll go and then we'll name my movie let's say test and then we can set the resolution we'll set it to 1280 by 720 better bitrate and the encoder there's only two encoders just stick with the h264 codec right now now we're just going to press ok size will be six megabytes and then you click export so it shows up on the bottom here, the time that it takes to export. Now, if you have a longer video, it may take longer to export depending on the speed of your computer. So depending on what kind of project you have, it could be short, it could be long, it all depends. If it's a long video project, then the rendering will take a bit longer to process it in a codec and be ready for upload to your favorite video site, such as YouTube, Instagram, whatever you use. And then once that is done, we're just going to wait for it to finish. So once everything is done, it shows your movie is done. And then you go to Find Target, where it'll open up the folder through Windows Explorer. And there it is. Your test video is done. And then it'll ask you to close, or you can just automatically close out of that. So that's generally how you use Minitool Movie Maker. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another video. Take care.